Amber from California asks, I'm a grocery store worker in Ventura. We are still open and operating. We try to force customers to practice social distancing, but many of them ignore us. We are constantly touching stuff on the shelves. I don't know what I am exposing myself to. I have a history of anxiety, and since this pandemic has hit our country, my anxiety is through the roof. When does my well-being take priority over being a good co-worker? Do I stay and risk getting sick because I don't want to hurt someone's feelings or make them feel abandoned? Well, you know, I actually ran into this about two and a half weeks ago. So I, I own a treatment center that's outpatient. And I had a therapist who didn't feel safe enough to come in to work because of the interaction with other clients. And so as soon as she made that a that decision, the whole company, we went digital. We went to completely doing telehealth for everyone's safety. And I think it really depends on what your job is. I think it's incredibly important to go to your HR director and find out what the policy is. And I also think if you're going to stay in this job, it's really important that you figure out what you need to do for your own anxiety so that you're not bringing it back home afterwards. We you know so many people are in jobs that you can't do digitally. Everything you can do digitally, as you say, should 100% be done digitally. But in so many jobs, there has to be somebody there to hand you the product, to you know, give you what service that you might need. And we just have to really rely on employers to say, I am going to go that extra mile to protect my employees here. I'm going to make sure that they have their own PPE, their own personal protective equipment um, where we can maintain barriers. We can, we can put stuff at the front door for people to pick up. We can wash hands. We can wear masks. We can wear goggles. We can do everything we can. And then when those people get home, it really is worthwhile to stop in the garage, take those clothes off, put them straight into the washer and go straight to the shower before you interact with any family members. Dr. Sophie, this virus can live on clothes, can be tracked in by shoes. It does make a difference to get out of those clothes, get them in the washer and take a shower before you touch anyone in your family, true? And before you even touch a doorknob if possible. You've got to wash your hands and you've got to really keep that hygiene going because it is very communicable. It spreads like fire as we see. Yes. So does it matter? Can If a person does stop in the garage, take those clothes off, go straight to the shower, you know, wash their hands in the garage after they take their clothes off, can that actually make a difference? Does that help with the communicability? 100%, yes. It really cuts it way, way down. You've limited now a lot of access. So yes, the more you can do that stuff, the better. And always wash your hands. And, and we really, have delivery We have delivery people that are delivering food to a lot of people's houses now is the only way for a lot of them to get it sometimes. What do, do you recommend unpackaging that outside the house with gloves and then washing the containers inside, leaving the bags outside? How do you do that? What, what's your advice? Yes, that's what I've been telling people to do. Leave the bags outside, bring the containers in, wash them, and then open them and eat. But also, again, really washing your hands is key as well. And people don't know how long to wash their hands for. I tell them to sing happy birthday. The happy birthday song is the length of time, pretty much, that you need to be washing your hands to kill the, the germs that are of a, any threat to us. So it's about 20 seconds. Right. Something like that. And yep. hot soap and water is just as good as any disinfectant, true? Yes, it is. Yes. So you don't need something fancy, just hot nah, soap you don't need, Right. You don't need all the Perels and all that stuff. So hot soap and water, happy birthday to you, and you're fine. 